Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to add rules in an Einstein bot. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So right now, if you watch, have watched my previous video, what we did was we understood what exactly the dialogues are, right? How the dialogues is used in order to understand or control the flow of your Einstein bot or we can say to set the flow of an Einstein bot. Now in order to control the flow more discreetly in an Einstein bot, you can use uh, rules or we can say call, call dialogues in an Einstein bot. So right now what's happening is first welcome dialog is going to get executed and in the next step this is a test dialog is going to get executed. Okay, now the test dialog is going to get executed. After the test dialog, message one dialog is going to get executed. Now what I want to do is I want to add a certain kind of a condition. Let's say uh, after this, I'm going to call another dialog. Okay, let's say condition one. I have created one dialog. And inside condition one, I'm actually going to add a condition. Okay, so now you can add it using a call, call dialog. Call dialog is very similar to that of a decision in an uh, flow, right? So if you have uh, if you have ever used a uh, and decision or if you have ever used flow there's something called as this kite kind of a symbol right uh, my diagram is not that well but there is a kite kind of a symbol right so that's what uh, similar to that of a decision is in an Einstein bot you can add a decision using a call dialogue in an Einstein bot so I can add a, a decision over here saying that okay uh, we can add a condition a specific condition what we want and if the condition is satisfied what do we want to do okay you can define the rule action so let's add a condition let's say that if my user that the whoever user has typed help as its keyword right he has typed help what I want to do is I want to control the flow or the direction of your Einstein bot so now you can use last customer input that is a system variable so if you have not watched my previous video I have defined how what system context and content uh, the system and context variables are in an Einstein bot uh, so if you see system variable is nothing but a variable which ha we have we, with the help of which you have much more control over what customer has typed in. So let's say if customer that is last customer input text if he has typed in help or let's say new okay he has typed new okay so automatically if he has typed new we can do different kinds of actions. So for an example we can call out dialog we can clear a variable value we can completely end the chat we can redirect to a completely different dialog send a message and there are different kinds of them you can transfer it even to another bot or another agent or something like that right so right now i'm just going to call another dialog so let's create one more dialog let's uh, call it as new dialog right so i've created one more dialog so if my last customer input if my customer has typed in new okay automatically we are going to get redirected to this new dialog Now inside this new dialog, I'm just typing it. This is new, new dialog, and that's it. Okay. So what's gonna happen right now is that first we are going to go to the welcome. Hi, I'm Jarvis, a digital digital assistant. Then we are going to this is a test dialog, and inside this is a test dialog. We are just executing. This is a newly created dialog message, and after that we are going to type in message one right now once uh, your message one has been typed in successfully we will go to the condition one and inside this condition we have we are just checking whether the customer or the person who is our customer has typed in new if he has typed in new we will just go to the new dialog okay that is a new dialog which is just showing this is a new dialog something like that but if he has not satisfied if the customer has not typed in new or he has typed in something else we are just going to wait for the customer's input okay so this is how you can add a rule let's uh, review it Okay, I will type in help at the first instant itself. So if you see right now, what has happened is that first it went to message one and okay, okay, understood. So it went to a new dialogue and in a new dialogue, it's just typed in. This is a new dialogue. Okay, fine. Let's review it once more. Let's call another dialogue. Okay, if the condition is not satisfied, let's call another dialogue. Condition not satisfied. Right. If 
if it's not condition is not satisfied we will just say condition not satisfied let's save it and let's again preview it now I'm going to type new okay so if you see right now how things are happening is first it went to welcome hi I'm Jarvis a digital assistant next it went to this is a newly created dialog but that is nothing but this is test dialog and after that it went to message one right it is typing in message one and inside the condition it checked whether the customer has typed in new or not if he has typed in new okay it went to a new dialog and that's why it is printing this is a new dialog and once my new dialog is completely executed okay so this condition first we went to this condition checking that if the customer has typed in new right he has typed in new so we went to a new dialog and inside this new dialog <coughs> we just went and printed this is new dialog okay once that is done we came out of this condition this is a very important thing we came out of this condition and then we went to conditional not satisfied so this is you have to understand it goes by direction it goes inside the decision and then again comes back from it okay so it came came back saying that condition is not satisfied and now it's waiting for the customer input so this is how you can using a call dialog or I can you can rules you can add more rules to it okay in order to more discreetly control the flow of your bot if you found this video helpful about adding rules inside the Einstein bot please subscribe to this channel